God says that if a man lies with a man, that he shall be put to death. I mean, that's pretty clear. It's, it's pretty obvious, and there are many scriptures like that all throughout the Bible. It's really too bad that South Africa fell through because, you know, they've, they've banned me personally. They've banned the soul winning event. But at the end of the day, you know what? It's really no skin off my back. I mean, I wasn't really going there for my health. I wasn't really just that excited about, you know, visiting their so-called beautiful country, which is the rape capital of the world. It's one of the most dangerous, wicked places in the entire world. You know, I was actually going there for their sakes. You know, I was trying to bring the gospel to the lost. Undesirable persons. Undesirable persons are barred from traveling to South Africa for periods determined by the department. Furthermore, So while Minister Gigaba, in my estimation, has acted uh, perfectly well in this particular case, it's also his appearance to act uh, with a degree of predictability, uh, not to be seen to favor certain people uh, while condemning others. And a minister must always appear to be fair, fairly handed over time. Uh, so, you know, Mr. Minister Gigaba has experience uh, in this particular arena, and it hasn't been consistent in my opinion. Uh, one might recall the various attempts of a very important international figure, the Dalai Lama, who was never granted a visa to enter South Africa. Mm -hmm. You know, he was traveling using an Indian passport. All Indian nationals are visa restricted. And when the Dalai Lama attempted to apply for a visa, the application was withheld. He didn't receive an answer. And that was dealt with ultimately by the South African Court of Appeals who determined that the Minister of Home Affairs had unlawfully delayed replying on his visa application. He went to the airport to meet uh, a notorious figure um, who for many years uh, was a member of the Popular Front for the Liberation of Palestine, an organization well recognized internationally as a terrorist organization. And she, therefore, by law, uh, is a prohibited person. No one has to make the declaration. Uh, a self-confessed member of that organization, and that organization internationally is recognized to be a terrorist organization by the United Nations, by Canada, by the United States, and most of the EU. Uh, her membership of that organization made her prohibited by law. But the minister himself, uh, without any hesitation, met her at the airport, welcomed her. This is on the basis that I certainly promote hate speech as well as advocate social violence. Accordingly, Stephen Anderson will be advised that he is a prohibited.